This is Twit. Well, you know, something else that iOS 7 has, and I know that it's going to make a lot of people who watch iPad Today happy because we have a lot of folks who are um, interested in accessibility features. iOS 7 will include the ability to control your iPad or your iPhone. This is just, you know, it's iOS across the board using head movements. In fact, there's a, there's a little bit of a video. Again, this is 9to5Mac. They're really killing it with the tutorials this week. But um, uh, one of their uh, 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 reporters is kind of walking us through. We don't have to you know, really listen to him. I'll just kind of explain what he's doing. Walking us through how to turn on an accessibility feature in your settings. And once you do that, you're able to basically uh, sort of like nod your head to the left to go to your home screen. Basically, it would be the equivalent of, of pressing the home button. And then going to the right to be able to drill into a particular app. What's weird about it, it's cumbersome, but it's still going it, to, there, there are definitely people it's going to help, is the practice of this is what happens is once the accessibility feature is turned on, and I'm not exactly sure if it even has a name yet, what the iPad is doing, what iOS is doing is cycling through all of your options, and you kind of have to sit there and wait until it's hovered over the right uh, app row. It kind of goes row by row. And then once it's the right app row, you sort of say, yes, yeah, stay on this row. And then it goes like, OK, in this row, which app are you talking about? And so you kind of have to time it just so to get into an app. However, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's, you know, it's basically uh, simple um, facial and body recognition. Yeah, I love the irony of the video being shown on a Samsung monitor or something like that. That's what it looks, it looks like, because it seems like I think Samsung had all this stuff in the Galaxy oh. series. They had the S4, this thing that they're tracking your eyes. I think it'll be really cool if Apple opens up that API to, to developers. If you can have more controls using gestures, it doesn't have to be even your head. Like if you could just wave over the camera to move things, yeah. like songs. I know when I used to use my iPad in the car, when I want to change the track, it's like it's really dangerous. So I just can't, I have to leave it alone. Yeah. I have to ask Siri, which sometimes doesn't work. But if you can just wave to move it along, it could be really cool.